So in this video, I'm gonna show you Razer Cortex best settings you can use on your any PC or laptop in order to get highest possible FPS in your any game. So guys, welcome to my channel. If this is your first time here, so please subscribe and make sure to follow this whole guide and without wasting any time, let's dive straight into our this video. Gear Booster is one of the best programs for the optimization of your ping while you're playing games using your wired or wireless connection. This is the one of the best programs for rerouting your network and help you to connecting with the nearest server of the game for achieving the better ping with lower input delay. So guys, make sure to check out the link in the description for downloading this tool and Enjoy the free trial using my link in the description. So guys, in the way first step, you need to download Razer Cortex tool on your PC and you can find out the latest version of the Razer Cortex from the link in the description of my this video. Simply go there, search for the title of my YouTube video and you will find out the right post for downloading the Razer Cortex on your PC. Once you download and install the Razer Cortex on your PC here, you will find out this kind of the login screen. You can guys simply login here your account using your Facebook, Google or even your Twitch id or you can sign up for a new account but i'm going with continue as guest because i'm not creating any account here so guys once you log in here using your guest id here you will find out this kind of interface click on to the continue as guest and then you will find that your summary you will find that all the available game on install game on your pc now the very first step for doing optimization for your any specific game or for doing for your overall pc you need to go for game booster option and go for boost option and here you will find that all the free tweaks on your pc now the very first step make sure to turn on the auto boost on your pc after that go for special option and there you will find out enable cpu core make sure to check mark on this box now check mark on disable cpu sleeping mode check mark on this box enable game power solution turn it on clear clipboard now here you will find out explorer.exe file if you check mark here so when you boost your razor cortex you will get some bugs on your windows so therefore i not suggest you to check mark here on this box then here you will find that launch game on game desktop so check mark here on this box activate game desktop only when game running from razor cortex this option will automatically disable when perform a manual boost are you sure who you want to play it so click on this ok button and turn on this option for providing the maximum processing power for gaming without any interruption now check mark on the clean this will clean all the ram from your pc then there you will find out windows key simply uncheck this box check mark on sticky key check mark on disable cortana check mark on disable background app because this will give you a huge fps boost on your pc if you disable all the background apps while you're playing game now check mark on disable telemetry and disable the report problems on your pc now you just scroll down and here you will find that processes so check mark here on this box and this will automatically select all the processes on your pc which is running in the background like here is the google chrome like if you want to stop the chrome from using your cpu and your ram in the background so make sure to check mark here if you are using google chrome so check mark here on this box now here is the discord if you are using discord in your background simply uncheck the discord from here now here is the obs for recording in the background i am also using the obs so i am unchecking it but you can check mark here now here is the search host yacht game ms manager then here is some runtime window settings so uncheck all these window processes like search host node js javascript runtime riot client epic web helper text input host adobe content synchronization runtime broker host process for window widgets data exchange and guys simply uncheck all the windows application from here so guys i have unchecked all the windows processes and all the important processes which need to run in your background therefore your pc can properly run so guys you can also follow the same exact settings also on your pc now here is the services don't change any service from here this will automatically do everything for you then here is the non windows services also don't change anything from here once you're done, now you need to go for this FPS boost option and boost your PC performance. But guys, we are going for a next further step. So go for system boost option and there you will find our system cleanup and all the optimization. So guys, click on the scan button. This will scan all the game junk file, your application junk file, your system junk file, your recycle bin, your browser and your, and your browser privacy files. So guys, here we find around 800 MB data. So click on the clean button and remove all these junk files from your PC. Now the next step, 
go for speed up option and there you will find out this cache optimization desktop menu optimization and all other optimization of your system click on the optimize button and optimize it on your pc so here 21 items have been optimized now you need to go for next step that is the defect like if you are using the ssd on your pc you not need to perform this step but if you are using the hdd so guys simply select out here your game and click on the scan button and that will defrag your dead game and help you to optimizing your gaming performance so guys once you're done now you need to go back into the game booster tab and there you will find that all the settings so now simply turn on auto boost option and click on the boost now button and this will start boosting and releasing your ram which will directly help you to drastically improving your overall pc performance now you can check that here 29 item have been optimized and 2.85 gb is now released if you simply right click on your taskbar and open up task manager on your pc and go into the performance tab there you will find out a huge Huge difference before and after utilization of your cpu and your ram so guys once you follow the settings in the razor cortex now simply close out your task manager and click on the minimize button and keep the razor cortex running in your background and also whenever you turn on your pc the razor cortex will automatically run in your background just you need to click on the boost button and this will boost your pc performance so guys further in this video i'm gonna show you two bonus step you can also follow on your pc for having some extra performance with the razor cortex go for your windows star icon right click here and open up your system settings now open up advanced system settings go for performance settings and there you will find out adjust for the best performance check mark here on this option and copy the exact settings also on your windows now go for advanced tab and set the settings on program after that hit apply and click ok and apply and save the settings on your pc now on the final and the last step of this video we are going to refresh our windows file so for that you need to go for your windows search and search for temp and you will find out the latest temporary file from your system settings open up your system settings now there you will find that old installed app documents video other and then there you will find out temporary files option so guys here i have around 5 or 6 gb of the temporary file available on my pc so go for temporary file there you'll find that download folder uncheck this box from here because download folder have some important files or programs which you downloaded on your pc that are available in the download folder so therefore uncheck this box and check mark on all the other boxes also the recycle bin once you're done now you need to go for remove files option click continue and remove all the temporary files from your pc now you need to go back and there you will find out storage sense so make sure to turn on this option because this will automatically free up your space delete temporary files and manage locally available cloud content on your pc now simply close out your the settings now you need to one time restore your pc then again follow the same settings on the razor cortex and after that go for launcher option of the razor cortex and launch your game using the razor cortex like simply open up the settings and click on the start game button and launch your game using the razor cortex for having some extra performance so i hope you love it please make sure to drop a like on this video subscribe to my channel and see you again in the next video